Good evening, everybody. Welcome to another Friday number. Excuse my voice. I've been a little sick. All right, this is for the week of 10, 12, 17. My mileage paid before Deadhead was $1.56 per mile. Including Deadhead was $1.35 per mile. Load number one, $1.77 per mile, 614 miles. 11,700 pounds, $1,086.62. Load number two, $1.44 per mile, 682 miles, 44,000 pounds, $982.47. Load three, $1.54 per mile, 489 miles, 40,000 40, pounds, $752.82. Load four, a dollar fifty-three per mile, two hundred and four miles, twelve thousand seven hundred pounds, three hundred and eleven dollars and seventy-seven cents. Load five, dollar fifty per mile, four hundred thirty-one miles, forty-one thousand seven hundred and four pounds, six hundred and forty-eight dollars and thirty-two cents. Total revenue was three thousand seven hundred and eighty-two dollars. Total weight hauled, 150,000 pounds. Total pay miles was 2,420 miles. My total miles was 3,331. Subtract the 2,420 from that, that leaves me with 911 deadhead miles. Yeah, that was a little bit much. All right, fueling, we had four fuels. One for $386, $393, $441, and $65. That was just enough to get me to the house and back. Total fuel was $1,286, 481.656 gallons, average of $2.67 per gallon. All right, so now to the, to the, nuts and bolts of it total revenue was 37.82 we subtract the fuel from that that's 1286 dollars and seven cents that leaves us with 24.95.93 subtract our fixed cost which is 800 that gives us 16.95.93 now i had two scale tickets so that's 22 dollars so all together for the week I made sixteen seventy three ninety three. Now keep in mind, folks, I call that profit, but in that I have to pay. That's my maintenance fund. That's my taxes, and that's my payday. That covers everything. So every week, if I'm smart, I will take out maintenance money. Make sure I have some set aside for tax money. And then pay myself a small salary. If you're going to do this, study taxes. Know what to do about your taxes at the end of the year. Hopefully you have a couple of dependents. You know, they make a huge difference. Uh, this was a pretty good week. I would love to average that every week. Like I said last week, October is turning out to be a good month for me. Uh but I did have a major breakdown yesterday. That'll be coming up whenever we get to that week in numbers. But I try to keep these a couple weeks behind, so bear with it and you'll see the actual expenses of that day. That was pretty rough, but friends helped me make it through it. And my business is still alive and thriving. So there it is. I'll get it a little closer so you can see it. There's the loads and the numbers and the pay, the mileages and the pay. And here's the fuel that was spent. All together, we had 3782 total revenue, 1286 in fuel, 800 in fixed. All that took out left us with 1600 and seventy three dollars and ninety three cents I know I could just show y'all 
snapshots of this, but I know some of y'all listen to it while driving or something else, doing something else. So I tried to verbalize it out there for you, give you some audio. Uh, I don't know if y'all like the music in the background. I tend to not like the music in my background because it kind of overcomes my voice, you know, where you can't hardly hear me sometimes. So I'm going to keep doing it like this, maybe put a little bit really, really low. Not sure, but I got a special segment coming on after this. Hang in there, and in one, two, three, you'll be seeing it later. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, gentlemen and ladies. How y'all doing? Another episode of Friday Numbers, and this week I am playing with the whiteboard, making a graph. Alright, this is week one through seven. This on this side lists our money. 4,000 down to 5,500 and $500 increments. Over here, it's going to be the miles. 4,000 down to 500 and 500 mile increments. Now, this is going to be our gross earnings and our profit. This is our total miles compared to our deadhead miles. If you turn it upside down, it kind of looks like a couple of spiders, but all right. Um, really don't know exactly how we want to do this all right week one was 34.23 on the gross we had 35.20 on the total miles $1,418 on the profit on 11.30 on the deadhead. See, that got way up here. See, 1,100. But if you notice, my most profitable week, if I'm not mistaken, was week four. Right there. We was at $1,688. But our total miles went down. So our profit went up. Compared to our deadhead, see. Expenses down, deadhead down. Just as a visual aid, it's <clears throat> it lays it out pretty heavy. I mean, my profit is staying right along right there. That was a big deadhead. I mean, it was 1,100 mile deadhead that week. I made $1,418, but it was $3,423 gross. And the total miles was way up there. Total miles, I went down and my profit up. Like total miles this week was um, 1896 for that week right there. And my, my profit wasn't that much either. It was a thousand dollars and 70, I mean a thousand and 77 dollars. <clears throat> anyway, like I say, I'm experimenting with these. I wanted to get something where we could see it out a little bit like that. I'm not sure if I like this system as much because... I mean, it shows you my good weeks and my bad weeks. I mean, I'm staying, I'm staying in an average area pretty good. I guess it's kind of like when you're, when you're um, out shooting guns you try to get a tight grouping like you want a grouping that's bah, 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 bah. you want all your bullets to be you to be hitting the same spot so you know that you're a, a good target but if you're trying to hit that bullseye and you got one down here one down here one down here you or one up here you're starting to learn that you're not that good of a, a marksman and so if you apply that to your business um it's a fairly tight grouping but i would much rather have that be my target instead of this one or this one you know i want this is where i need my grouping at this is where i need to cite myself in i need to figure out go back and look at those loads that week and see if i can't recreate that 
constantly into a constant loop to keep my grouping to keep me in, in target that to keep the miles down on my truck and my profit up every week you know if i can keep the miles down on my truck that when i get through paying for it my truck will be worth a little bit more but that's that's my experiment this week uh hope y'all like it research your weeks and try to get those profitable weeks and recreate them you know you don't want these you know i'm sure i had something that had to be done on those weeks but that was a good profitable week that one this one was okay but we want to get them profits up and them expenses down see this one was profitable but them expenses was way up too see here and honestly, when it comes tax season, I want to have the least on the ledger as possible. I don't want $200,000 gross and making 60000 You know, I want as little as possible on that ledger. I, <laughs> I'd rather have $70,000 gross and I make sixty, because that might leave me some room to do something, something. Anyway, sorry for my voice, y'all. I'm a little sick. I hope this intrigues y'all and encourages you to get your boards out and play with your numbers and make some graphs and see what you can do. I mean, I don't have a monopoly on making graphs. I think everybody should do it. I don't have a monopoly on doing numbers. I think everybody should do their numbers on YouTube or whatever they want to do. But experiment with them. Encourage yourself you know don't be lazy find that 10 minutes or 20 minutes to pull out your pad where you write down your numbers and put them on a board and spread them out where you can see them you know it helps it really helps because now i have a target and now that i have a target i can sight in on it i can try to bring myself into it and recreate that week over and over again so I can keep the miles down and my expenses down to where my profit goes up see that deadhead deadhead corresponds directly with your profit profitability there it is right there you see how big a difference it can make this is a pretty big gap between profit and deadhead God bless. Keep it between the ditches.